Mexico, south of the border, where that gruesome murder of 43 Mexican college students is triggering an outcry tonight against the government officials there, as well as protests right here in Southern California. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang, live in the Westlake District for us tonight. She's got more on that. Hello, Kim. Rick, good evening. Dozens of protesters marched for several hours outside of the Mexican consulate, many of them outraged. I'm going to be 65. I was 15. And I still remember. She tells me her brother disappeared during a march in Mexico decades ago. This story shakes her to the core. And my brother, he's not here, but I'm talking in his behalf. And to these young people, they were kids. And it's got to be justice for Mexico. I'm a Mexican. Dozens protested outside the Mexican consulate. If this is not the only time that it has happened. This is the first time that everybody, the whole world, is knowing about it. Mexico's attorney general released gruesome details Friday. 43 university students who disappeared on their way to a protest in September were allegedly kidnapped by police under order from the mayor of Iguala Guerrero, Jose Luis Abarca. His wife and the former police chief also accused of being involved. The Mexican students were reportedly turned over to a gang whose members confessed to murdering them, burning their bodies and throwing them into a river. Mexico's attorney general said nothing is certain until DNA tests can prove that the remains belong to the missing students. We're like trying to fight for the human rights for those people and their family. Mexico's president Enrique Peña Nieto promised full support in this investigation, but activists here say not enough is being done to put an end to corruption. All the states in Mexico is the same. It's all the drug cartels and all that. And we want to say like that's enough. That's too much. That's, that's too much what is happening in Mexico and our government is doing anything about this. And their message today was for Mexico's president. They say, take action or resign. Live in Westlake District, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Okay, Kim, thanks. Good to see you. Thousands of veterans buried.